Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello student, how are you today? Welcome back to my video with me, your English teacher, Mr. Bahtiar Today, we are going to learn about party time Party time ini berhubungan dengan invitation Pengertian invitation adalah sebagai berikut Invitation is a request, spoken or written, to participate or be present or take part in something, or an attempt to get another person, to join you at a specific event. Jadi, invitation itu adalah sebuah ajakan berbentuk tulisan atau tulisan yang biasanya digunakan untuk mengajak orang lain agar menghadiri suatu acara tertentu. Oke. Okay. The purpose of invitation Tujuan dari invitation itu adalah To invite someone, attend, or come, an event Jadi, untuk mengajak atau mengundang seorang Untuk hadir dalam suatu acara tertentu nah, Bentuk dari invitation itu Bisa seperti birthday, ulang tahun, kemudian wedding, pernikahan Anniversary atau hari jadi Meeting, rapat Kemudian graduation, kelulusan Dinner, makan malam Atau school competition Seperti itu Invitation have two types Formal and informal invitation jadi, undangan itu mempunyai dua tipe, formal dan informal. Pengertian formal invitation adalah sebagai berikut. Formal invitation. This type of invitation has a meaning official senses. It is written by institution or company. Nah, contohnya adalah For example, graduation ceremony grand opening wedding etc kemudian pengertian informal invitation adalah sebagai berikut informal invitation is a personal invitation given to a friend or family this kind of invitation is found a lot in social interaction Contohnya seperti ini. For example, birthday party, family gathering, etc. Nah, student semua, coba perhatikan. If you want to invite someone, you can use this expression like this. Shall we? Can you come to? Would you like to come? I'd very much like you to come. Would you like to join us? Could you come too? I invite you to come. I would like to invite you. We would be pleased if you could. Nah, kemudian, if you want to accepting invite from the other people, you can use this expression. Yes, I will. Yes, certainly I will come. Absolutely, count me in. I would, very much. Yes, I'd like nothing better. That's very kind of you. We'd like very much to. Thank you for inviting me. Oke, okay, coba kita perhatikan dialog tentang accepting an invitation from other people. Would you like to come to Nadia's surprise birthday party next Saturday? Sure, I'd like to. Great. What time is the party? The party is at 7.30 p.m. So, could you be there at 7 p.m.? Oke. Okay. 
Do I need to bring a present? No you mustn't bring a present. Just be there. Okay, then. See you next Saturday. See you. Kemudian, if you want to decline invitation from someone, you can use this expression like this. I'm terribly sorry. I don't think I can. I'm very sorry. I can't. Thank you very much, but... I'm very sorry. I don't think I can. I'd like to, but... Unfortunately, I can't. Sorry, I am very busy. Thank you, but I can't. Nah, setelah Anda mengetahui how to declining an invitation for other people, coba kita simak dialog berikut ini. Shinta, I am going to have a party tonight. I want to invite you to come to my home. I'd love to. By the way, what are you celebrating? I won the Science Olympics last week. Congratulations. Wow, you are very clever. Not at all. You just have to study harder. Will you come to my party? Tony. I am sorry I can't. My parents are going to go to the hospital. I should look after my little brother. It's all right. Hmm. Speaking about parents. I have to call my father to ask him permission. Okay. That would be fine. Generic structure of an invitation adalah sebagai berikut. Yang pertama adalah invite atau receiver, body of invitation, association atau object, kemudian day of date, kemudian time, waktu yang ditetapkan, kemudian place, tempat acara diadakan, nah, kemudian closing ya atau penutup, inviter, ini pengirim undangan. Kemudian bisa juga ditambahkan dengan signature. Nah, yang terakhir adalah additional for formal invitation. Biasanya selalu ada RSVP. Ini namanya adalah permintaan untuk membalas undangan. Regret only. Ini digunakan untuk konfirmasi jika tidak bisa datang menghadiri undangan tersebut. Nah, setelah Anda menyimak pembelajaran tadi, coba kita perhatikan beberapa contoh undangan seperti berikut ini. Nah, ini undangan untuk birthday party, kemudian wedding, pernikahan, kemudian ini adalah undangan untuk graduation party. Nah, untuk contoh jenis undangan yang lain, kalian bisa searching to internet. Oke, okay, demikian materi untuk hari ini. Semoga kalian tetap semangat untuk belajar di rumah. Thank you for your attention. Keep calm, stay home, and stay healthy. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.